In today's session, we are going to look at the Moment app, which is a paid filmmaking app for the iPhone. If I just open that up, let's have a quick look at what we have here in the interface. In the bottom left corner, we have a light. As you can see, when I click that, it turns the light on and off. Above, above that, we have a set of presets. So we have a log, a default, and a flat. So a log gives you a, a, a flat profile. Let's click default for now, because that will give us a full color spectrum. We have 4K resolution, 720p, or 1080p. We also have our frames per second above that. So we have 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 48, and 60 frames per second, all at 4K resolution. Let's go back to 24 because we like cinematic looks. Let's move across to the other side of the app and you'll notice we have a display menu at the bottom. So first, we'll just have a look what we have here. We'll click the S1 over 4 and that stands for the shutter speed. So shutter speed is the amount of light the camera lets in. So the lower the shutter speed, the more light. The average rule of thumb is if you have 24 frames, you have double the shutter speed. So I have 48. Next, we have the ISO. You'll notice the lower I go down the ISO, the darker it is, and the higher I go up the scale, the brighter it is. Let's move across to the exposure. Very similar to the ISO, the lower the value, the darker the image, the higher the value, the lighter the image. So try and find an exposure level that works for you. Let's look at autofocus. This is really interesting. So when I click autofocus, it's trying to focus on everything. If I just click the car with my finger, it automatically focuses on the car. That's really useful. Let's have a look at white balance. So white balance is using something called Kelvin and Kelvin is the color temperature of light. So if I was filming a candle, I'd want my white balance to be at 2000 Kelvin. If I was filming in daylight, I'd want it to be 5500 Kelvin, for example. So we'll just have a look at the Kelvin scale. So you can see I get the value when I start moving the scale up and down. And I'm just going to film around. Let's have a look. You can see it's getting warmer there. And that's far too warm and that's far too cold. You know, my car's almost blue. So let's just put it around. Let's put it around 4,200 Kelvin. That seems to work and it looks quite well. Okay, here, if I click the little one, you'll notice it pulls out. So I have an iPhone 11, so that's giving me dual cameras. Just go back to the original view. I'm just going to click the slider icon next to the record button, and let's have a look what happens here. So this gives me almost like a menu option. So I can click for support, and I get directed to the Moment website. And this is giving me some tips and some tricks, so if I want to shoot in time lapse or different modes. Don't worry about that, because we're gonna cover that in this course. I can also click a get started guide, which again takes me to the moment website and it gives me a little bit more information about the app itself and I can also submit questions. Again, don't worry too much about that because I am going to cover that in this course, but if you want to have a look, there's some useful videos on there. As I look down the menu screen, I've also um, got a place where I can click location, which gives me the location. I can also click the grid and I have a different set of grids. So I'm going to talk about the rule of thirds and the golden ratio later, but I prefer the rule of thirds. I can add Siri shortcuts, which is really cool. I can also connect a Bluetooth device, such as an Osmo mobile, and we're going to use one of those in this course, although I must reiterate, you don't need an Osmo mobile to be a great filmmaker. Peripheral accessories are useful, but they don't make you better. I can also change the app icon. I quite like the classic one, so I'm gonna click the classic one, and that's changed there. I also get my histogram, and I can show highlight clipping. Um, here's an interesting one. So I can look at 
the photo standard. So I've just got mine on most compatible, which is JPEG. I can also change the frame rate. So I'm based in the UK, so I'm going to click PAL. Um, I can change the bit rate. I can change the audio waveform and audio levels. I can de-squeeze files, etc. All really useful stuff and all great for you to have a play with if you decide you want to use this app. Again, I must reiterate, you don't need this app to use this course or to be a great filmmaker. Right, let's go back to our filming. So as I mentioned, my audio waveform is on the left there and you can see that bouncing up and down. That's just capturing audio. And obviously I've got my record button there so I can record what I'm filming. Now there's something I've not mentioned which is in the top corner, it's a circle. If I click that, I get a series of lenses. Now I actually have the anamorphic lens and the tele lens here, but I've got it selected to no lens because I'm just using the standard iPhone lenses. What's really interesting about the Moment app is you can add your own lenses directly from the Moment website, which again takes your filmmaking to a different level, but you don't need them. Right, let's have a look. So I'm now recording. So I've clicked record and I'm recording and you can see there. And that's a recording of the car. Right, let's go back to the app. So this is the final image of the car I've filmed. Because I shot it on a green screen, I can then remove the background. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's have a quick recap. So we've looked at the Moment app. We know it gives us full manual controls. We know we don't need to buy the app to be great filmmakers. And we know it's a paid app. Guys, thank you so much for watching this session and I'll see you in the next one.